Hello, how's everyone doing today? This video is almost three months ago. Yes, yeah, so this video is quite late, uh, but the intro I made for this video is messy as hell. It's so messy, it's chaotic. I'm not putting that in the main part of the video. So this is to make up for it right now. Yes, anyway, that's besides the point. So Lord came out with two bonus tracks, I think almost two weeks ago. So you'll see that at the end of the video. I don't really know what I'm doing with this intro, so I'm just gonna let the video speak for itself. So, so without further ado, here's the video. Hello everyone, let's get into the video. Tonight, because it is midnight as I'm recording this right now, it today's date is August 31st, 2021. I have been putting this off for almost two weeks just had not got a chance to do it. I'm surprised I've gotten this far and have not heard the album yet. Today or tonight, I will be hearing Lord's third studio album titled Solar Power. We have waited for about four years. Actually, it has been four years since her sophomore album Melodrama. And I do have some high expectations for this album. From what a couple people have told me, it sounds very different from her past two projects. So I'm looking forward to a growth in her catalog or like her growth as an artist. I have heard two songs from this album already. I've heard the title track, Solar Power, which I will include a little title card somewhere around here where you can view that if you have not already. I posted that on the second channel. And if you're seeing this, then you would have already seen the Colorado vlog. So I, that solar power reaction, I recorded that when I was in Colorado. There are 12 songs on the album and there's also a music video with a song called Mood Ring. And I would like to react to that video and watch that video with you. I'm honestly very curious if Lord with an E, the E stands for extra, will live up to that nickname within this album if she will do anything extra or unnecessary but we will see i've heard a friend told me that this album is like a very mellow album it's very like calm down which i hope i do not fall asleep in the middle of recording that would not be good i think that's about it and please remember to check out the links in the description I will include some new ones if I have not already. I'll keep it keep it very brief because we got some songs to get into. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hear the first song on Solar Power. The first song is titled The Path. I already like it. I already like it. I really like the instrumental and her vocals add a really nice touch to the song. I really like how her vocals seem to like blend in with the production is what it seems like. Dude, it feels like very like smooth and very like mellow. I don't know, it's just giving me that kind of feeling to it. Okay, that was the first song on Solar Power. That was The Path, and it took maybe like a minute for me to totally get into it, but I do like the song. I really like it. The Path is, is something I would listen to again. Very good opening track, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the album. I'm in it now. I'm ready. All right, so the next song is titled Solar Power, and we'll just listen to a couple 
Just listen to it like a little bit of it since I already did a reaction to it, but let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of Solar Power. Think three times when you feel it kicking in that That's all we are going to listen to of Solo Power. And the next song is titled California. Once upon a time in Hollywood when Carol called my name, I stood up the room, exploded, and I knew that's it, I'll never be the same. That's when the door swung open. Batter all the bottles, all the models, flat clouds in the skies are a whole new rain. That was California. I do like this song. I'm not immediately grasping onto it, but I do feel like that will be another one of the favorites for me once I listen to it more. But yeah, it didn't really stand out to me that much, but I'm sure with time I'll begin to appreciate it. We're going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled Stoned at the Nail Salon. And I did a little reaction to this song, so Future Joshua, you can put that in right now. Hello. We are about to hear Stoned at the Nail Salon for the first time. This song came out, I think, two or three weeks ago. Or should I look, take this off? Yeah. I think it's a little bit better. But without further ado, let's hear this song. I think I really, I think I like it so far. Okay. So what I'm gathering so far is that it seems like Lord is just in her thoughts and in her feelings. Like, dang, I've experienced so many summers and over so many years, I'm just thinking about a lot of things. Or maybe I'm just stoned at the nail salon. Maybe I'm just intaking something that's got me thinking about all this that might be it i don't know anyway let's just keep listening the song is reminding me a lot of like the overall sound and feel of chemtrails of the country club i know that jack antonoff is frequent collaborator with lord and lana but i can definitely kind of see the i can hear the similarities between those projects but yeah anyway let's keep listening Never got a piece Cause all the music you loved at 16 you grow out of And all the times Isn't that interesting? She said, all the music that you loved at 16 you'll grow out of. Now, let me apply this to the music that came out when I was 16. So, ooh. Does Anti and Lemonade count? They came out in 2016, but they were, I was 15 when they came out. Dang, it's been that long since Anti came out. Rihanna. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that. Let me see, the main album that came out for me. Like, ooh, the, I really want to like delve deep into this. Let me think. So it was definitely like 2017. And like I feel like 2017 was such a good year for music. Because Greenlight came out when I was 16. I remember when Greenlight came out and Melodrama came out when I was 17. So I guess I can kind of see. Yeah, I get that. Maybe I'm like really overanalyzing that lyric. Probably. I don't know. I just kind of like the obscurity and like the different images she is portraying with the lyric so far. Cause all the times 
I really like that lyric. Spend all the evenings you can with the people who raised you. Because all the times they will change, it'll all come around. Life is short. Spend the time that you have right now with people that have raised you, the people that you're surrounded with now. Spend the time with them now. Because a lot of things will change and you might not get that time back again. Or maybe you're just stoned at the nail salon. Again. Okay, that was Stone at the Nail Salon. I... I kind of wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. Isn't it strange? When I first heard Solar Power, I was like, I don't know how to feel about this song. It took a couple listens for me to really get a feel for it, but I like the song. With this one, I instantly like it. All right, Lord, I await Solar Power. It comes out two weeks from today because I'm filming, I'm recording this on the midnight August 6th right now. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and hear the next song. Okay, that was Stoned at the Nail Salon. And I do remember when I first heard that song, I would thought to myself, I really like it. I'm going to do an album reaction to it. Because for the longest time, I was like, oh, should I do a reaction to Lord's album? I don't know if I should. It's been so long. And then I released the Solo Power reaction on the second channel. Like, I think almost two months after the song came out. And I was thinking, oh, maybe it's too late. But then I heard Stoned at the Nail Salon. I'm like, okay, I'm in. I'm in. And here we are. I also forgot to mention, I'm kind of trying to find something that was yellow, like matching the theme of the album. But this is the only yellow piece of clothing I have at the moment, apparently. We are going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled Fallen Fruit. To the ones who came before us I'm the golden ones who were lifted on a wing We had no idea the dreams we had were far too big You leave us dancing on the floor This song is reminding me of Claro a lot. Specifically like this little short instrumental right here. I feel like I'm noticing more of like that similarity with um, Claro's most recent album, Sling. I've been listening to that album a lot and I'm definitely picking up a lot of similarities with this one. Also, apparently Claro and Phoebe Bridgers did background vocals on Solar Power. I did not catch that. I didn't hear them, but I was pleasantly surprised to know that they were featured on Solar Power, the title track. Anyway, we're gonna keep listening. That was Fallen Fruit. And that's another song that will definitely have to grow on me. There was this sound in the song. I can't exactly place it, but it sounded like a beeper of something like a beeper of some kind that you would like hear in like a hospital or something. Like two short sounds or like two of those beeps towards like the end of the song. I I don't I didn't really like that. I don't really know why it was included in the song. I don't know. That kind of and it was like kind of like high pitched too. Didn't really connect with that. That's probably I think that's the only criticism thing or thing I didn't really like on Fallen Fruit. Actually, before we go on to the next song, we are going to watch the new Fallen Fruit video that premiered a couple days ago because this video is almost three months late. So first things first, today is November 7th, 2021. Today is Lord's birthday. 
So I figure what better time would it be to react to new Lord music today. But we're gonna watch the Fallen Fruit video. So hold on, let me put these glasses on. Okay, so this video has 988,000 views right now. It's not quite at a million. It was released five days ago. Let's watch it. I must say, I've listened to the album a lot, and I'm gonna make it a point to get this. I'm, you'll see this video in November. You will. Wasn't expecting a visual for this song. Not mad at it though. The transitions between night and day in this video look really neat. Yeah, anyway. Lord. The Whoa. To the we'll disappear in the cover of the rain. Lord. Okay. First sign of civilization so far. We see a vehicle. We got a car in the video now. So from what we've seen so far, it's just Lord walking across this beach and one portion of it, or I'm sure she filmed part of it during the daytime and part of it during at night. What, what point was I trying to make? Yeah, the, we got a car on the video now. What you gonna do, Lord? You gonna drive away? I'm waiting for it. Okay, now's not the time. Let's keep watching. Oh, there she go. Bye. All right, that was the Fallen Fruit video. It was a neat video, it's okay. Don't have that much, I don't have any thoughts to say about it other than what I already said. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all I need to say about the video, so we're going to go back into the main portion of the video. But we are going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled, Secrets from a Girl Who's Seen It All. Guess it's been a while since you last said sorry, crying in the dark at your best friend's party. You've had enough, gotta turn the lights up on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, this wordplay? Lord. The lyrics are already standing out to me. Dancing with my girls, only having two drinks, then leaving. It's a funny thing, thought you'd never gain self-control. Guess it's been a while since you last said sorry, crying in the dark at your best friend's parties. That right there. Ooh, I like how she's, I like her flow of that too. That sounded really good. Okay, anyway. You can take him if you want him, he's a judge. That was really clever. Your emotional baggage can be picked up at carousel number two. Please be careful so that it doesn't fall onto someone you love. This song is very much giving me like a coming of age movie. Just about growing up, I think. The theme of 
growing up and growing out of your old ways and changing into a hopefully better and improved person or version of yourself. Yeah, I really like the message of this song. It's really standing out to me. And also like the lyrics, I really like it. This song is really good so far. We can go look at the Sunrise by Euphoria mixed with Existential Vertigo. I don't know cool. about that. I don't know about that, man. Yeah, anyway, that was Secrets from a Girl Who's Seen It All. And that song definitely stood out to me. One of the favorite songs on this album. I really like that song. This, that, this song is something I would seek out to listen to. This was an incredible song. It was masterful. The lyrics were great. I really liked the production. We are going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled The Man with the Axe. If I had to break it down, I'd say it's the way you love to dance. Put on a suit and take it away. One thing I have to point out with this song, I really like the range that she's given with her vocals. Specifically with this song, it's standing out to me the most. Like she was going low, like with her deeper register of her voice in the beginning and then she kind of like changed it. I don't really know what the term is, but she was giving, her vocals were very high. Yeah, I like like the range of the vocals. Yeah, anyway, let's keep listening. All right, that was The Man with the Axe. And that one, I feel like it was also going to be a grower for me. It didn't really stand out to me first listen. Yeah, like I said before, the vocals stood out to me a lot with this song. All right, we just listened to The Man with the Axe, and we're going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled Dominoes. I heard that you were doing yoga with them with their men's rugged just outside of Woodstock. Uh, Uma Thurman? What the hell? Uma Thurman? I heard that you were doing yoga with Uma Thurman's mother. You know what? I'm a, I'm let me just look this up. Who is Uma Thurman's mother? Her name is Nina. She's very pretty. What does the yoga have to do with it? I feel like that was so left field. Where did that come from? Maybe she's maybe this song is from like a past experience. Anyway, I'm reading way too much into this song. Anyway, let's keep listening. This change to see you smoking marijuana. You used to do the most cocaine of anyone I'd ever met. What? Wait, hold up. Actually, I don't know how comfortable I am with talking about drugs on this channel. Maybe this is an experience from another person. Maybe she's not saying this from her own personal perspective. Or maybe she is. I don't know. I can't imagine Lord being in an area with a bunch of people doing drugs. I just, I can't picture it. It's the reading in way too much into the song for me. Get out of here. I need to go to bed. Anyway, let's keep listening. It must feel good being this to start again. Don't get up. It must feel good being this Can you reach me? No. Dang it. Lord. Also, for some reason, when she's saying Mr. Start again, it feels like, at least to me, it sounds like she's saying Mr. Stark. <sighs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. We're going down that path. All right, anyway, that was Domino's, and that's another song that would probably be a grower for me. I didn't hate it at all. I do think that with time, I will really like it. We are going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled Big Star. I'm going to put a hat on for this. 
because I feel that a little bit cold. Anyway, let's listen to the song. Everyone knows that you're too good for me, don't they? I'm a cheater, I lie and I'm shy, but you write to say hello. Don't deny Maybe you're a gangsta. That was Big Star, and I actually really like that song. That one stood out to me. Yeah. We are going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled Leader of a New Regime. Wearing SPF 3000 for the ultraviolet rays. Made it to the island on the mast of the. The song has reminded me of Phoebe Bridgers a lot, especially with the vocals. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the production of it is just reminding me of Phoebe a lot. I don't know. But yeah, that's just a quick note. Okay, that was Leader of a New Regime, and I think that was just a short interlude. Yeah, not much to say about that one. We are going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled Mood Ring. Now, this one is the next single, I guess. I'm not really sure. But we're going to see about that, and we go going to watch the video. You ready? Let's get into it. But inside Can't seem to fix my mood Today it's as dark as my roots If I, if I ever let them Grow out Don't you think the early 2000s Seem so far away Yeah Okay, that was Mood Ring. Um, I don't know how to feel about it. To be honest, I was getting kind of bored of it. Didn't really know where it was going. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just stayed with like, it was just like the same. It didn't like plateau, it didn't rise up. It was just there. I'd like to watch this video and maybe the video will heighten the liking I have for the song, but we gonna see. All right, we are about to watch the Mood Ring music video. It was premiered about a week ago. It has 7.6 million views. Let's watch it. I really like that line for some reason. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I really like the color scheme in this video, like the lime green and like the beige and tan brown and then Laura's blonde wig. I don't know how to feel about the blonde wig. That's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know, man. Okay, 
a scholar, reading books, and looking at puddles. That was, it was all right. Yeah, uh, the, the blonde wig, now the more I was looking at it, the blonde wig reminded me of, some, of someone. I don't know who it is. I don't know. But it's delicious, I'm loving the wigs. Mmm, delicious wig. Mmm, I like it, I like it. But yeah, that was the video. All right, we have one more song left to listen to. It is titled Oceanic Feeling. And this is the longest song on the album and it stands at six minutes and 40 seconds. Let's get into it. It's a blue day. We could jump a leaf. We could go fishing. Hold on one moment. You know, what I've learned from the Snow Allegra video I did, I got too comfortable throughout the entire video, so I'm just gonna save the blanket, I'm gonna wear this blanket for the remaining, for the remainder. To be honest, I'm quite chilly right now, I'm cold. Yeah, anyway, let's keep listening. See you on a silver day in levitate. goodness for the beat switch up and the instrumental because if it was just like that mellow tone throughout the entire song I don't know if I would have continued to pay attention but that beat switch up that has regained the interest for me I like that is the album that was the last song oceanic feeling i actually like that one i really like the different instruments she incorporated into this song and i de there were definitely at some points where i felt like okay this is kind of boring i don't know where this is going but as it continued on i really began to appreciate the different instruments and the production of the song i'm back so we just finished listening to the entire album and we are, are going to hear the two bonus songs that released on Friday, November 5th. We are going to listen to Helen of Troy. Let's listen to it. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. The city is falling for me, just like I'm Helen of Troy. Like the city is crumbling down because I'm Helen of Troy. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm getting the lyrical content. Let's hear it for the girls, in the that was Helen of Troy. Um, I have to say the song is, I don't know how to feel about the song. It sounds forgettable to me, honestly. Maybe I just need to give a, give it a couple more listens. Just like the rest, just like with the rest of the album. We are, are going to go on to the next song. The next song is titled, Hold No Grudge. Just remember what we used to sing, baby, up in Okay, I, I, I already like this one. I like this one so far. 
Okay, Lord. I'll see you. I just need I just needed to be patient. See, Lord has some good songs, but you just you just gotta like be patient. Like she always has something good in store. Lord has been mentioning like a lot of drugs in her, especially in this album. Cause, oh, what song was it? There's one song where she was like, "You used to do the most cocaine out of anyone I'd ever met." Okay, that's I'm not gonna get into that. But she's been mentioning some drugs, and this album is Lord herself a stoner. Lord, I'm not gonna question that. Then never mind. I'm That was a really good song. I really like that. I really like the lyrical content of that one. It's basically, how do I, how would I describe it? So it's basically about, I can't keep a list. I don't want to hold any grudge. Like I'm moving on. I'm wishing you well, wherever you might be. I'm not holding anything against you. We had some good times together, but it's time we both go our separate ways. That's all I had to say, but let's go ahead and go on to the main portion of the video. Okay, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I thought that was a pretty, this album was a pretty decent album. Does it top melodrama? I don't think so. Melodrama is that girl, okay? Now, for the songs that stood out to me on this album. So I really like The Path, Solar Power, California, Stoned at the Nail Salon, Secret from a Girl Who's Seen It All, Big Star, and Oceanic Feeling. So that's seven songs out of the 12. Yeah, what songs on this album did you really like? And did you like the videos? What did you think about it? Oh, are you gonna go see her on tour next year? Uh, the Solar Power Tour? Ooh, that's on a side note. Anyway, I'm gonna conclude the video cause it's almost 2 a.m. I need to go to bed. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching and please let me know what you thought about the album in the comment section. Please remember to take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video. Bye.